Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the second day of our resurrection eggs and our study of the story of Easter. So today is the pink egg. And so if we open up the pink egg, we find a cloth. So what do you think that that cloth is going to tell us the story? You might want to look at what I'm doing with my feet. So back in Bible times, a long time ago, they didn't have roads like we have today. The roads that they had were really dusty and sandy and dirty, and you know they wore sandals. Not quite like ours, but they wore sandals that they protected their feet, but they didn't do much else. So when I wear sandals and I walk in dirt and sand, my feet usually get pretty dirty. And what do we want to do before we eat? We usually wash our hands, right? Well, back in Bible times, not only did they wash their hands before they ate, but they also washed their feet before they came into somebody's house to eat or just to come into the house because they didn't want to track in dirt. I'm sure your moms and dads don't like it when you track in dirt. So they washed their feet. And Jesus, as we talked about yesterday, was a king. And kings usually have servants, and they would have a servant wash their feet. But on this day, Jesus washed the feet of his disciples before they had dinner, before they came in. And the disciples said that they didn't want him to wash their feet because they thought he was a king and shouldn't be doing that. But Jesus wanted to teach us that being a servant is what's important that we are here to serve others and to be of service and show kindness which is why yesterday i asked you to take your rock that you decorated and leave it at a neighbor's doorstep to offer them a surprise and that way we can help follow the story of jesus so today we're going to read a story from our bible and i'm going to I've got our Bible, but I also have the book that I told you about yesterday that you can find in your Easter bag. So our story today, out of the uh, very first Easter book, is about um, washing the disciples' feet. Yesterday we read about the true king, and today is washing the disciples' feet. So if you want to follow along with me, you can get your book as well. Jesus and his disciples gathered together for a special Passover meal. Jesus knew he would be leaving them soon. After supper, Jesus removed his outer clothing. He wrapped a towel around his waist. He filled a bowl with water. Then Jesus washed and dried the disciples' feet one by one. Peter said to Jesus, Lord, you should never wash my feet. Jesus said, as I have washed your feet, you must wash each other's feet. Jesus showed them how to love and serve each other by washing their feet. Jesus told the disciples, one of you will turn against me tonight. Who will turn against you? John asked. The one I give this piece of bread to, Jesus said. He handed it to Judas and said, do what you must. Judas quickly left. So you can see that they have some bread and some wine and that tells us about a little bit about what story we're going to read tomorrow about the Last Supper, about Jesus and his disciples having a, a supper together. So remember, we want to be a servant to others. We want to be kind and loving and think about what they need or what we can do for them before we think about what we need or we can need to do for ourselves or want to do for ourselves important that we remember that God wants us to love one another. 
And at this time that we all have to stay inside and not play with friends and, and see neighbors, it's a good time for us to practice some of that kindness. Some of the things that you can do are giving a neighbor the rock that you painted by leaving it on their doorstep as a surprise. You could draw a, a smiley face with your sidewalk chalk and or in your on your sidewalk or in your um, driveway and that would cheer people up. You could write um, a message with your sidewalk chalk. You can help mommy and daddy by cleaning up your toys without being asked or asking if they need help with something. You could even practice washing their feet if you want to, if mom and dad say that that's okay. So tomorrow we are gonna read about the Last Supper. So to close out our story for today, let's have a prayer. Let's get our prayer hands ready and offer a prayer to God. Dear God, thank you for loving us. Thank you for sending Jesus to be our savior. Please help us remember the importance of helping one another. Amen. I hope you have a great day. I miss you guys. I, w I can't wait till we can be together again in our classroom. Until next time, I love you and I miss you and I wish you well.